Return again, return again, return to the land of your soul. Return again, return again, return to the land of your soul. Return to who you are. Return to what you are, return to where you are born and reborn again. Return again, return again, return to the land of your soul. Return again, return again. Return to the land of your soul. Shana Tova, Good Yantif. It's good to be here again this morning. And I wanted to share with you this morning a midrash that is based off of the book of Psalms. Said the Holy One to Israel, I asked you to pray in the synagogue of your city. But if you cannot pray in the synagogue, pray outdoors in an open field. And if you cannot pray in the field, pray in the shelter of your home. And if you cannot pray in your home, pray in the dark on your bed. And if you cannot pray on your bed, meditate in your heart without words. Wherever we are, it is possible to pray. And even though this year is different from other years, we are still together welcoming the birth of the world and the new year. And I'd like to begin with a reading by Rabbi Laura Geller. Your book of life doesn't begin today on Rosh Hashanah. It began when you were born. Some of the chapters were written by other people, your parents, siblings, and teachers. Parts of your book were crafted out of experiences you had because of other people's decisions. Where you lived, what schools you went to, what your homes were like. But the message of Rosh Hashanah, the anniversary of the creation of the world, is that everything can be made new again. That much of your book is written every day by the choices you make. The book is not written and sealed. You get to edit it, decide what parts you want to emphasize and remember, and maybe even which parts you want to leave behind. Shana Tova means both a good year and a good change. Today, you can change the rest of your life. It is never too late. Ma tovu. Ma tovu, O Halecha Yaakov, Mishkenotecha Yisrael, Ma tovu, Ma tovu, O Halecha Yaakov, Mishkenotecha Yisrael, Vani Belrov Kastaka. Avo betecha, eshtaka vele kol kochaka, veyiratecha. Ma tovu, ma tovu, o halecha Yaakov, vishkenotecha Yisrael, ma tovu. Matobu, O Halecha Yaakov, Mishkenotecha Yisrael, Adonai Ahavti, Meon Betecha, Umekom Mishkan Kevodecha, Mishkan Kvodecha, Vani Eshtaka Bekraha, every caliph ne Adonai, O si matobu, ma 
tovu O Alecha Yaakov Vishkenotecha Yisrael Ma tovu Ma tovu O Alecha Yaakov Vishkenotecha Yisrael Vani tefilati lecha Adonai et ratzon Elohi berov kazdecha Elohim berov kazdecha Aneni be'emet yeshecha Matobu Matobu O Halecha Yaakov, Mishkanotecha Yisrael, Matovu, Matovu. O Halecha Yaakov, Mishkanotecha Yisrael, Mishkanotecha Yisrael. Hello, hi, hello, hi, Neshama. Shena ta ta bi tehorai. Atabarata, atayitzarta, atanefach ta bi. Atameshamra. Bisham Rabba Kirbi Hello, hi, hello, hi, Neshama Shenatata Bi Tehorahi Hallelujah, 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 El Bekocho, Hallelujah, Baki Azo, Hallelujah, Big Vurotov, Hallelujah, Karoho, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 but take a show far, hallelujah, but neighbor that ignore, hallelujah, but tofu macho, hallelujah, but menin that ugam, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 Betzilt slay shema, hallelujah, Betzilt slay trua, hallelujah, Betzilt slay shema, hallelujah, Betzilt slay trua, Kol han shema, Te hallelujah, hallelujah, Kol han shema, Te hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Yit katal, ve yit katash, shemei rabah, amen. Me alma di barach irutei, ve yamelich malchutei. Bechayechon uv yomekon, uv chayechon. 
yed kobit Yisrael Vakala uvizman kariv veimeru Amen Yehesh me rabba mevarach Leolam ulome omaya Yitbarach Yitbarach Yishtabach, v'yit pa'ar, v'yit roman, v'yit naseh, v'yit hadar, v'yit ale, v'yit alav, sh'meid akudasha v'richu, la'ela u'leila min kol b'chata v'shirata, tush b'chata v'nechemata, Amiran Belma Vimeru Amen. Marhu et Adonai Amvo. Source of blessings, our eternal God. Your power fills the cosmos, shaping light, creating darkness, making peace, and fashioning all things. Infinite light is preserved in life's treasure house. Lights from the darkness, said God, it was so. In love you bring light to the earth and its creatures. Your goodness renews the creation each day. Infinite, varied, and rich are your works, divine artist. All of them wrought with wisdom. The whole earth is teeming with life. Awestruck by the universe, work of your hands, let all life bless you, praise you, and celebrate the beauty of your lights. May you shine a new light on Zion, and may we soon be privileged to share in that light. Baruch atah Adonai, Yotzeh HaMarot. Our praise to you, Adonai, creator of the cosmic lights. Love abundant, love unstinting, our God, you have enfolded us in love, tender compassion beyond all bounds. Your precious gift, our fathers and mothers gave you their trust, and you gave them Torah, laws by which we live. For their sake, teach us as well. Grace us with your guidance. Loving Father, merciful Mother of us all, grant us clear understanding. That we may listen, learn, and teach, preserve, practice, and fulfill with love every lesson of your Torah. May learning your Torah light up our eyes, may our hearts embrace your mitzvot, and unite us in love and reverence for you. That we may never feel ashamed of our deeds. We have trusted in your great and holy name. Now let us celebrate at last the joy of your salvation. Bring us in peace from the four corners of the earth. Lead us with upright pride to the land that is ours. For you are a God of miracles and wonders. From all the peoples of the earth, you sought us our, out and brought us near to your great, enduring truth. So with love, we acknowledge and proclaim that you are one. Baruch atah Adonai, ha'avocher b'yamo Yisrael b'yahava. Our praise to you, Adonai, you have singled out your people Israel with love. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Baruch Shem, Kevod Machuto, Le'olam Ba'er. Ve'ahavta et Adonai Elohecha V'kol levavaka v'kol nafshaka v'kol meodecha V'hayu hadavarim ha'ele Asher nochi mitzavacha hayom alevavecha 
Vashinatam live a necha, Vadibarta baham. Vashit a kahab of a tacha, Uva left a kahava derech, Uva shop a ka, Uva kumecha. Ukshartam leho, Taya decha, Vahayulatotapot, Bene necha. Uchtaftam, Omezot be techa, Uvi sharecha. Lemantis karu vasi tem et komit votai, vi tem karashim leloechem. Ani adonai eloechem. Asherote tiachem merit mitraim, liot lachem lelohim. Ani adonai eloechem. Adonai Elohechem Emet. The voice that redeems us comes from within, said Rabbi Eleazar Hamodai. Consider the courage of Israel when Moses said to the people in Egypt, Arise and go forth. They did not ask, How can we go into the wilderness with no sustenance for the way? They had faith and went forward. The voice that lifts up the lowly, upholds the exhausted, and tells us to put one foot in front of the other. Sometimes it comes from within. No rata he lot, O se fell. Shira had a sha sheep who ge ulim. The shimcha as a fat Yachad kulam. O do be him lichuve amru. Adonai, im loch leolam va'ed. Sur Yisrael, kuma bezrat Yisrael, uvudechen umecha Yehuda Yisrael. Though I lay new out of nights of old Shemur, Kadosh Yisrael, Baruch Ata Adonai, Gaal Yisrael, Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu Elohei avoteinu bimoteinu Elohei Avraham Elohei Yitzchak Elohei Yaakov Elohei Sarah Elohei Rivcha, Elohei Leha, Elohei Rachel. Ha'el Hagadol, Hagibor, Hanora, El El Yon. Gomel Hasidim Tovim, Vekone Hakol, Vezochel. As de abot va imaot, who may be geula live a neighbor nehem, la ma anchemo ve ahava. Zohre nu lechaim, melecha fates bachaim, ve kot ve nu bese behaim. Lamanka Elohim Chaim Melech Ozer Umoshia Umagain Maruch Adonai Magen Avraham Bezrat Sarah 
הגיבור לעולם אדוני, מחיי הכל אתה רב להושיע. מחלקל חיים בחסד, מחיי הכל ברחמים רבים, סומך נופלים ורופא חולים, ומתיר אסורים, ומקיים אמונתו לשני עפר. וכמוך בגבורות ומדום אלך מלך ממית ומחיה ומצמיח ישוע וכמוך אל הרחמים זוכר לצוריו לחיים ברחמים נאמן אתה לאחיות הכל. ברוך אתה אדוני מקיי הכל. And so let these words of sanctity ascend to you, for you are our God and sovereign. Unatane tokef kedushat hayom Ki hu nora vayom Hu voti nase malchutecha ויכון בחסד כיסך ותשב עליו באמת. Let us proclaim the power of this day, a day whose holiness awakens deepest awe and inspires highest praise for your dominion. For your throne is a throne of love. Your reign is a reign of truth. In truth, you are judge and plaintiff, counselor and witness. You inscribe and seal. You record and recount. You remember all that we have forgotten. And when you open the book of memories, it speaks for itself. For every human hand leaves its mark, an imprint like no other. And so a great shofar will cry to Kia, a still small voice will be heard. Angels in a whirl of fear and trembling will say, Behold the day of judgment, for they too are judged. In your eyes even they are not blameless. All who come into the world pass before you, like sheep before their shepherd, as a shepherd considers the flock when it passes beneath the staff. You count and consider every life. You set bounds. You decide destiny. You inscribe judgments. Rosh Hashanah Yikatevun Uvayom Som Kippur Uvayom Som Kippur Yekatevun בראש השנה ייכתבון וביום צום כיפור וביום צום כיפור יכתבון כמה יברון וכמה יברון מי יחיה ומי ימות, מי וקיצו ומי לבקיצו. בראש השנה ייכתבון, וביום צום כיפור, וביום צום כיפור ייכתבון. Rosh Hashanah 
ikatevun Ove Yom Som Kippur, Ove Yom Som Kippur, Yechatemun. Mi va eshu, mi va maim, mi va cherevu, mi va chaya, mi va raav, u mi va tzama. Proshashana Ikatevun Uva yom som kippur, uva yom som kippur Yechatemun Proshashana Ikatevun Uva yom som kippur, uva yom som kippur on Rosh Hashanah, this is written. On the fast of Yom Kippur, this is sealed. How many will pass away from this world? How many will be born into it? Who will live and who will die? Who will reach the ripeness of age? Who will be taken before their time? Who by fire and who by water? Who by war and who by beast? Who by famine and who by drought? Who by earthquake and who by plague? Who by strangling and who by stoning? Who will rest and who will wander? Who will be tranquil and who will be troubled? Who will be calm and who tormented? Who will live in poverty and who in prosperity? Who will be humbled and who exalted? But through return to the right path, through prayer and righteous giving, we can transcend the harshness of the decree. Ma'avirin, ma'avirin, et roa hagazera. Nekadesh et shimcha ba'olam, kashem shemaktishim, Bishme Marom, Vakatu Vayad Nebi Echa, Mekara Zelze Vamar, Kadosh, 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 Adonai Tsebot, Melo Kolare. Adir Adirenu Adonai Adonenu Ma Adir Shimcha B'Kol Aretz Baruch Chavod Adonai Mim Komo Echad Hu Eloheinu Hu Avinu Hu Makenu Hu Moshienu Behu Yashmienu Rakamab Lene Kochai Ani Adonai Elohechem Im Loch Adonai Leolam Elohai Xion Le door, va door, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah.
our God and God of the generations before us, may a memory of us ascend and come before you. May it be heard and seen by you, winning your favor and reaching your awareness, together with the memory of our ancestors, the memory of your sacred city, Jerusalem, and the memory of your people, the family of Israel. May we be remembered for safety, well-being, and favor, for love and compassion, for life and for peace on this day of remembrance. Zochreinu Adonai Eloheinu bo letova, ufokdenu vo livracha, vohoshienu vo lechaim. Eternal our God, remember us, be mindful of us, and redeem us for a life of goodness and blessing. We are stiff-necked and stubborn, teach us to bend before you. Convinced we're right, entrenched in our own perspectives, we resist your call to repent. Convinced we're self-sufficient, entrenched in the illusion of control, we resist your call to humility. Convinced we can have it all, entrenched in the dream of mastering the world, we resist your call to wake up. Today, you summon us out of our arrogance, out of our rigidity, fantasy, shallowness, and self-deception. Teach us to bend our knees, to bow our heads before the mystery, to realize our frailty and our finitude. Teach us to make you melech, sovereign in our life, to align ourselves with your goodness and truth. We would, we would not, not bow, bow before Pharaoh. Pharaoh. We, would we would not, not bow before, before the Persian Lord. Lord. We, we would, would not, not submit to any power on earth, earth or, or give ourselves to any material, material thing. thing. But, but we, we, the Jewish people, people stiff-necked, stubborn, stubborn to the end, end Today we bow before you. Alleinu l'shapeach l'adon hakol l'atet gedula Layotse Brehishit Shalosanu Kegoye Aratzot Shalosamanu Kamishpachot Adama Shalosam Kalchenu Kahem Begoraleinu Kechol Hamonam Vanachnu Koraim Umishtachavim humodim Lifne melech malche hamlachim Hakadosh Marachu. Blessed are hearts that respond to the majestic music of the shofar. Blessed is the gift of life, the power of renewal that brings us to this day. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Asher kadishanu b'mitzvotav Mitzivanu lishmo akol shofar Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Shehechianu v'kiyamanu v'higianu lazman hazeh Kia Shivarim Turua Tikia Tikia Shivarim Tikia Tikia Tarua Tikia 
किया Let the wishes of our lips, our heart's desire, be pleasing before you, God most high. You are knowing and attentive, watchful and aware when we call out to Kia, lovingly, favorably receive our prayers of Malchuyot. Our God, divine presence whose path our ancestors walked, bless us now with words first bestowed on Israel in the time of Moses and Aaron. The threefold blessing given us through Torah that joins our hopes with theirs. Yevarechacha Adonai v'yishmerecha, may you know God's blessings of shelter and care. Ya'er Adonai panai v'lecha v'chuneka, may you receive the light of God's kindness and grace. Yisa Adonai panai v'lecha v'yasem lecha shalom, may you see God's favor and goodness, and may you partake of God's peace. Loving Father, infinite power, gentle, forgiving, lofty, inscrutable, Avinu Malkenu, compassionate mother, omnipotent Lord, comforting presence, fathomless mystery, Avinu Malkenu, our rock and redeemer, life of the universe, close to us always, impossibly far, Avinu Malkenu, embracing, confounding, accepting our frailty, decreeing our end, Avinu Malkenu, None of these are true, none of them are you, yet we stand as those before us have stood, summoned to judgment, longing for love. Avinu Malkenu, may these words be a bridge, they come from our hearts, may they lead us to you. Please rise. Avinu Malkenu, Shema Kolenu, Avinu Malkenu, Almighty and Merciful, hear our voice. Avinu Malkenu, we have strayed and sinned before you. 
Avinu Malkenu, have compassion on us and on our families. Avinu Malkenu, halt the onslaught of sickness, violence, and hunger. Avinu Malkenu, halt the reign of those who cause pain and terror. Avinu Malkenu, enter our names in the book of lives well lived. Avinu Malkenu, renew for us a year of goodness. Avinu Malkenu, almighty and merciful, answer us with grace, for our deeds are wanting. Save us through acts of justice and love. Avinu Malkenu, Chanenu Vanenu. Avinu Malkenu, Chanenu Vanenu, Ki ein manu masim. Asei manu, Tzedaka v'chesed. Asei manu, Tzedaka v'chesed. Vehoshienu, Asei Manu, Tzedaka Vachesed, Asei Manu, Tzedaka Vachesed, Vehoshienu. When first we appeared on the stage of world history, a book was in our hands. This book, this sacred scroll. And we were told, this is very near to you, in your mouth and in your heart. And we were told, you can surely do it. And then we learned, this is where heaven and earth touch. <laughs> Vain Kama Secha Malakut Ha Malakut Kololamin Umim Shaltaha Bekodor Vador Adonai Melech Adonai Malach Adonai Yim Loch Leolam Vaed Adonai Oz Lamoite Adonai Yevarech et Amo Shalom. Adonai Yevarech et Amo Shalom. Adonai Adonai El Rachum Vechanun Erech Apayim Verab Chesed Veemet. Notzer Chesed La Alafim No Se Avon Vafesha Vehata Avinake. Adonai, Adonai, God, compassionate, gracious, endlessly patient, loving and true, showing mercy to the thousandth generation, forgiving evil, defiance and wrongdoing, granting pardon. Adonai, Adonai, El Rachum Vechanu. Kapayim verav chesed vehemed. No se avon va fesha ve chata ve chata venake. Israel, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad, Echad Eloheinu, Gadol Adonainu, Kadosh Venerashemo, Gadlul Adonai Iti, 
Una rama ma shemo yaktav Lecha Adonai hagadu Lava hagevura Vati feret Vehane tzak vehaod Ki kho ba shemayim uvaretz Ki kho ba shemayim uvaretz Lekha Adonai hamam lakha Vecha mit nase Lekho l'arosh Baruch Hu et Adonai hamvarach Baruch Adonai hamvarach la'olam ba'ed Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech ha'olam Asher bachar banu mikol hamin, v'natan lanu et torato, baruch atad arunai, noten ha-torah. Bereshit bara Elohim, et ha-shamayim ve-et ha-aretz. And it was in a beginning that God was creating the heavens and the earth. The ha-aretz haita tohu vavohu, and the land was tohu vavohu, a mishmash, vechoshech al penei tohom, and darkness was upon the face of the depth. Veruach Elohim merechefet al penei hamayim, and a wind of God hovered upon the face of the water. Vayomer Elohim yehi or, vayehi or, and God said, let there be light, and there was light. Vayar Elohim et ha'or kitov, and God saw that the light was good. Vayavdel Elohim bein ha'or uvein ha'choshech, and God distinguished between the light and the darkness. Vayikra Elohim la'or yom, and God called the light day, Ulechoshech kara laila, and the darkness God called night. Vayihi erev, vayihi voker, yom echad. It was evening, it was morning, the first day. Baruch ata Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, asher natan lanu torat emet, Bechaye olam nata bitochenu, Baruch ata Adonai, no tain ha Torah. We pause to think of those in our community who are ill and in need of healing. Mishaberach avotenu vi imotenu, Avraham Yitzchak ve Yaakov, Sarah Rivka Rachel Vlea, Hu Yivarech ve Yirape et Hacholim. Hakarosh Baruchu Yemale Rachamim Alehem, Lahach Limam, Ulrapotam, Lahachazikam, Ulahach Yotam, Vishlach Lahem Mehera Rufua Shlema, Betoch Sha'ar Hacholim, Rufuata Nefesh Rufuat Haguf, Hashta Ba'agala Uvizman Kari Vinomar, Amen. May the one who ble brought blessings to our fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and to our mothers, Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah, bring the blessing of health to those who are ill, whom we have named in our hearts. May the Holy One, blessed source of life and healing, sustain and strengthen them with compassion and restore them to full health without delay. For all who struggle against illness, let renewal of spirit and renewal of body come soon. And together we say, Amen. Vizot HaTorah, Shef Sab Moshe, Lip Nebene Yisrael, Al Pi Adonai Beyad Moshe. Ay la la la, ay la 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 la, ya la la la, ay la 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 la. Yai lai lai lai, yai lai 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 lai, yai lai 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 lai. 
God of remembrance, remember the covenant of our ancestors. We reaffirm it today. Remember we are a people of noble ideals. Help us attain them. Remember all your people, all the nations on the road to peace. Bless their efforts. Our memory fades, but you remember all that we have forgotten. Your presence is a throne where all things matter and nothing is lost. Baruch Ata Adonai, Soher Habrit. Blessed are you, Adonai. You remember the covenant. You remember us. Tekia. Shivarim Teruah. Tekia. Tekia. Shivarim. Tekia. Tekia. Terua. Tekia. Let the wishes of our lips, our heart's desire, be pleasing before you, God Most High. You are knowing and attentive, watchful and aware when we call out, Tekia, lovingly, favorably receive our prayers of Zichronot. We rise as we return the Torah to the Ark. Rav Nachman bar Isaac asked, Why is Torah likened to a tree? Just as a small piece of wood may set fire to a large one, so it is with Torah scholars. Young students sharpen the minds of their elders. And Rabbi Hanina said, Much have I learned from my teachers, even more from my colleagues, but from my students most of all. Yahalalu et Shemadonai, Kini Skav Shemolevado, all praise God's name, for God's name alone is truly sublime. Your brightness lights the earth and sky, raises us up, blares out the note from your people's trumpet, an exultant blast for all who struggle with you and are close at hand. Hallelujah. Hilachatov matati lechem dorati al ta'azovu Et chayim hi l'machazik imav Betomechecha meushar derecheha Darched noam vechonati boteha shalom. Ashivenu Adonai elecha v'nashuva. Hadesh, Hadesh Yamenu, Hadesh Yamenu, Kekedem. Shana Toba, Happy New Year. I am so happy that so many members, visitors, past members, and guests are joining us today virtually, as we celebrate the new year, 5781. My name is Terry Siegel, and it has been a privilege to represent Adad Havarim as your president these past 28 months. And this year of 2020, it sure feels like 28 months. This year is like no other. What have we all learned? How has it affected us? One positive thought, the 
the roughly 7.8 billion humans have given Earth a bit of a break, allowing it to heal. During the early days of the lockdown, we saw peacocks roam the streets in Mumbai, coyotes in San Francisco. I recall seeing pictures of beautiful blue skies in India, a place where air pollution normally blots out any notion of the sky above. 2020 has taken a huge toll on our country as an already politically charged environment has pitted science against economics, blurred lines between free speech, lawlessness, violence, and the lack of dignity towards people of color. Here at Adat Havarim, 2020 has been difficult as well. Our thought out plans for our new home have met several challenges. Due to the current conditions with COVID-19, we have delayed our plans. I know this is disappointing to all of us. And I firmly believe that with time and the continued support by our community, we will move forward on a timeline with better options, casting a bright future for Adat Havarim. I saw an interesting quote recently. It was four simple words. More we, less me. This describes Adat Havarim, and you can look no further than our own mission statement. Supporting individuals and families in their diversity, caring for each other, our North Texas community and the state of Israel. More we, less me. As president, I often get the opportunity to experience the unselfishness of members putting this quote to work. During our recent major non-event fundraiser, when so many were locked down at home, afraid for friends and loved ones' health, and some losing their jobs, I had a member send a very considerable gift. During my call to thank her for this gift, she said, I'm still employed, not going out, and it's important to thank more of our community than just myself, and it gives me lots of joy. More we, less me. Just think, if we all here at Adat Havarim, in North Texas, in our country and in our world, would think more we and less me, what a beautiful world we would live in. I want to thank everyone for your commitment towards each other, including your gifts toward our fundraisers, gifts toward the capital campaign, your annual membership commitment, and your support of our school. On behalf of Michelle and me, our children, and on behalf of our staff and our board of trustees, may you and your families and all Jews around the world have a happy, healthy, and sweet new year filled with peace and contentment, and may your name be inscribed in the book of life. But wait, I've got one more thing. I'll be right back. We've tried, as COVID has forced us to distance and pray from outside. Oh, such gloom. We struggled and changed to this new norm of Shabbat on Zoom. Will this end? I miss the moments of hugging and owning and friends, and it's making us sad. But this will pass like the plagues of Passover past. We'll be back, Adat Havarim. This will all be just a big bad dream. We'll be back in our shul. Location TBD, but still be cool. Pandemics rise and buildings fall. But we'll have each other through it all. The 2020 will not end. Let's all welcome 5781 with our community of friends. Rosh Hashanah, na 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 na. Shana Toba Umetuka. Rosh Hashanah, na 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 na. Shana Toba. Ignoring all things, 2020 has been a Shabbat B'nai Mitzvahs and school with creativity. Brotherhood and whack 
are so giving. Our committees just keep on meeting. RPC made these holy days happen. So many, so many to thank. Like Rabbi Ben, Randy and John. Jonathan, Andrew, Faith, Saul, Dottie, Sheila, and those I've missed, I'm sorry. Looking back from where we've come, it's amazing how much that we've done. Let's be proud, start the year. Though there's unknown, we'll still have no fear. Pandemics rise and buildings fall, but we'll have each other through it all. So 2020, it just won't end. We're still blessed to welcome 5781 with our community of friends. Rosh Hashanah, na 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 Shana Tova, Umetuka. Rosh Hashanah, na 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 Shana Tova, everybody! Rosh Hashanah, na 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 for the third time, we hear the sound of the shofar. Today, the world is born anew. This day, the whole of creation stands before you to be judged. As we are your children, love us in the way of mothers and fathers. As we are yours in service, guide us by the light of your justice, grace, and holiness. Baruch ata Adonai, Shomea kol turua amo Yisrael berachamim. Blessed are you in our lives, Adonai. You hear with love the shofar, true voice of your people Israel. Tkiah. Shivarim turua. Tkia Shivarim Tkia Tkia Teruwa Tekia Tekia Gadola Let the wishes of our lips, our heart's desire, be pleasing before you, God Most High. You are knowing and attentive, watchful and aware when we call out, Tekiah, lovingly, favorably, receive our prayers of Shofarot. Good Yantiv, Shana Tova. In the liturgy of this day, we declare, Hayom Harat Olam, Today is the birthday of the world. By tradition, today is the anniversary of the creation of the world, about which I read a little earlier in Torah. And in that beginning, ha'aretz ha'ita tohu vavohu, the earth was a chaos unformed. It was a mishmash. And it took a divine will to bring order to that chaos, giving us the world we live in now. I imagine that the Jews living 1950 years ago in the aftermath 
of the Roman destruction of the temple in Jerusalem felt like their world was all tohu vavohu, all a mishmash, chaotic and unformed. There was political chaos and division between Jewish factions who fought each other just as much as they fought the foreign influence of Roman rule. Jews were murdered by those Romans and survivors dispersed throughout the Roman Empire with only a remnant of the Jewish community left behind. The temple, the one place sanctioned by God as the location of the sacrificial cult and our main way of worshiping God, lay in smoking ruins never to be rebuilt to this very day in which we live 1,950 years later. Their entire world was destroyed, a political, social, and religious chaos that must have seemed like it required a divine will to bring some type of order to it. Now, human beings may not be the largest animals in the world, nor the fastest, nor the most physically dangerous with teeth and claws, but we are among the most resilient and adaptable of all animals in the world, and Jews have been forced to be among the most resilient and adaptable among humans. So that's what we did. We survived and adapted. Synagogues, which had existed for hundreds of years prior to the year 70 as centers of communal gathering and learning, took on a third purpose as a center for prayer and worship, since the temple no longer existed. We couldn't offer animal sacrifices any longer as commanded in Torah, so we substituted prayers as the sacrifices of our lips. Most of us no longer lived in the land of Israel, so we prayed facing Jerusalem in acknowledgement of the city and land we longed to return to. Divinely inspired or not, we created order out of the chaos and a new rabbinic Judaism that we practice to this very day. Since March, I feel like my world has become chaotic and a bit unformed. No, no. Not even close to how bad we had it back then. Sure, we have foreign influence in our current elections, but it's not even close to the direct foreign rule of the Roman Empire. Sure, we were going to build a temple in Frisco, and now we can't, but that's not even close to having the temple in Jerusalem looted and destroyed. Sure, the Jewish community is scattering and not joining together as we've done in the past, but that's because of our own choosing, not because we're being violently exiled throughout the Roman Empire. But still, but still, I feel like my world has been shaken. Yet we humans, and Jews more than most, are the masters of resiliency and adaptability, and we will adapt to these new conditions in which we find ourselves. So here we are like we were before, with a clean slate on which to design our new Jewish lives. Remember, COVID caused a lot of changes in our society, but Jews have been leaving synagogue life for decades now, as we have found greater acceptance in general society. The Jewish world and synagogue life have been challenged for decades, and the leaders of the Jewish world have been seeking answers for at least as long. I will tell you one thing up front. I don't have the answer. If I did, I wouldn't be keeping it to myself. I also think that H.L. Mencken was right. There is always a well-known solution to every human problem, neat, plausible, and wrong. I had a student in my first pulpit whom I was very fond of. David was serious and committed to his Judaism, and at one point, I thought that he would make a good rabbi, though he went on to a different career within the Jewish world. I tried to encourage him in his Judaism as best I could. One day, he came into my office full tilt over something that, for the life of me, I can't remember. As sometimes happens with teenagers, he was outraged, outraged! 
at the injustice of what had happened and couldn't understand how his beloved synagogue could do whatever we had done. Honestly, I remember the emotion of it, but not the details. Hmm, I replied. Were you aware of A? Have you considered B? Did you know about C? By the time I got to E or F, the steam had come off and he realized that it was a more complex situation than he had realized before and that we weren't the corrupt monsters he thought we were when he entered the room. I deeply distru distrust simple answers because in my experience, the world is a complex place, except when it isn't. Murder is wrong. It says so in the Ten Commandments. But what about self-defense? Or capital punishment? Or during times of war? Or an accident over which you had no control? Or an accident in which you should have known better? You can complexify almost anything. But the basic murder is wrong remains true. So I'm not going to give you a simple answer to how we should redesign our Jewish life. But I think it's appropriate to ask, were you aware of A? Have you considered B? Did you know about C? Let's start with the completely local. In the aftermath, aftermath of COVID-19, we're not currently in the financial position to build our own synagogue building on the land that we own. What do we do? Were you aware that other Jewish communities go without buildings? Rabbi Eddie Sukal in Cleveland, Ohio, founded the Shul in 2007, and they rent space whenever they need it. Services are in people's homes. B'nai Mitzvah kids are taught at Rabbi Eddie's home. Halls are rented for large events. In 2013, Rabbi Scott Hausman Weiss founded Shema Kolenu in Houston and rents space as needed. Both communities are very well served by their rabbis. But have you also considered how much it would cost for us to rent space for brotherhood meetings, women of Adat Havarim meetings, Sunday religious school for 90 kids, even in our COVID-reduced numbers, Wednesday Hebrew school, adult education classes, various committee meetings, Friday night services, B'nai Mitzvah services, holiday services, as well as all the other reasons we need space that I just can't recall off the top of my head. There's a reason not to have a building. It's too expensive for what we can afford. There's a reason not to rent space. It's too expensive to rent space for all the activities that we have going on. Of course, there are plenty of Jews who don't join synagogues at all. Why bother? If I have a baby naming, I'll hire a rabbi. Weddings, funerals, b'nai mitzvah, same things. Just go to rabbirentals.com. I am not kidding you. That actually existed at one point. I'll buy high holiday tickets. Chabad or Eish HaTorah always has some kind of adult education going on for free, though they're always happy to accept donations. Synagogues are like the big cable bundle, and we are a cord-cutting society. Until we find out that Disney+, Plus, CBS All Access, Hulu, Netflix, Amazon Streaming, Peacock, HBO Max, and whatever there exists for sports, ends up costing more than the bundle did originally. Or perhaps you find out that a rent-a-rabbi just isn't the same as the rabbi who's known you for years, or that private tutors don't inspire your kids the way that Valerie does for our kids. You can buy your services a la carte, but it doesn't come with a sense of community and belonging. But then again, maybe a sense of community and belonging isn't something you value or want. Only you know the answer to that. It's true that we are facing some extreme challenges right now, but we're going to rise to those challenges and overcome them. You want to know why I'm so confident of that? 
It's because we Jews have done it before under much worse circumstances. It's because we are resilient and adaptable. It's because I have faith in the value of Judaism, the value of Jewish community, and in God. And even more, I have faith in you. Good yantiv. Alenu le shabeach la don ha kol, la tet gud la levigit sebre sheet, shelo a sanu kegelye haratzot velo samanu kamish bechot adama, shelo sam chachenu kahem, vegor alenu kechol hamonam. Manachnu korim, umishtachavim umodim, lifne melech malke hamlachim, hakadosh baruchu. Venemar vahaya adonai, le melech al kol haaretz. Vayom hahu, vayom hahu, yie adonai echad. Ushemo, ushemo, ushemo echad. Our thoughts turn to loved ones whom death has taken from us in recent days and those who died at this season in years past. Our hearts open as well to the wider circles of loss in our community and wherever grief touches the human family. Zichronam Livracha, may their memories be a blessing in this new year and always. Please rise. Yitkadal v'yitkadash shemei rabah Biyama divra chirute viam lich malchute, Bechaye hon of Yome hon of Chaye de Hol Beit Yisrael, Bagala of Isman Kari vimru, Amen. Ye shme rabba mevorach le olamal alme almaya, Yit barach viish tabach viit paar viit ramam viit nase, Viit hadar viit alev viit halal shme de kudishab brihu, La elam min kol berchata vishirata, Tush bachata venechemata, Da miran bi alma vimru amen. Yehe shlama rabba min shamaya, vechayim alenu vel kol Yisrael vimru amen. Hose shalom bimromav, hu ya ase shalom, alenu vel kol Yisrael vel kol yoshve tevel vimru amen. May the source of peace and peace to all who mourn, and comfort to all who are bereaved, and together we say, Amen. Thank you, Rabbi Sturman, for leading our services this morning, and Randy and John for your music. Thank you to David Klein and the entire Shofar crew. Thank you to Rabbi Sternman, Faith Redsky and the Religious Practices Committee, Jonathan and Andrew Goldstein and, the, and Saul Friedenberg for all your planning and work in producing these High Holy Days. Normally, we are joined by several folks on the Bema, and this morning, we'd like to honor some of our executive officers from our board and past presidents. Our Senior Vice President, Kevin Spinhern, our Vice Presidents, Dana Goldstein, Nancy Krangel, Faith Retzke, Immediate Past President, Steve Jacobs, and Past Presidents, Linda Coleman, Neil Rudolph, and David Goldstein. A few quick announcements. Um, as I mentioned yesterday, Tashlik at 3 p.m. There's four different locations in Allen, McKinney, Plano, and Frisco. Just refer to the flyer that you received. Remember, Shabbat services this coming Friday night at 7.30 and next Sunday evening for Kol Nidre at 7.30 p.m. Details to all of our services, times, and links can be found on our website homepage. With that, I wish everyone a happy and healthy New Year. Shana Tova. Ein kelohenu, ein kadonenu, Ain kamoke nu, ain kamoshi nu, mi hello he nu, mi kadone nu, mi kamoke nu, mi kamoshi nu, no 
de le lo he nu, no de la do ne nu, no de le ma ke nu, no de le mo shi e nu, baruch he lo he nu, baruch ha do ne nu, baruch ma ke nu, baruch mo shi e nu, atahu e lo he nu. Atahu Adonai nu, Atahu Makai nu, Atahu Moshi e nu. Yehi ratzon milfanecha Adonai Eloheinu velohe avotenu v'imotenu, Shetechadesh aleinu shana tova umtu ka. Our God and God of our ancestors, eternal God of all generations, may your presence in our lives this new year renew our spirits and renew our strength. May it be a good year, may it be a sweet year. Tekiah <laughs> 